Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode. Today's top comment comes from White Void 43 He says, Bob the Builder Loadout, Naked CBJ MS Nail Gun, Naked Shorty 12 Gauge, the only gun Bob could afford. M2 Slam, Homemade Explosives, Shank, the Screwdriver, M67 Frag Grenade, Repair Tool, and Mechanic is the Field Upgrade. The lovable handyman has had enough and decided to join the battlefield to teach people a lesson. If you can fix it, you can blow it up with a limited budget. Just a for fun loadout with this story behind it, I like to mess around with this loadout and I would like to see what you can do with it. Have fun and keep up the good work. Now it's been a little while since I've done a little bit of a joking theme loadout, certainly the CBG AMS naked is not going to be any sort of impressive weapon, but I was actually surprised by just how effective you can be with it, especially if you're hip firing. And it really is funny just how similar this weapon looks to an actual nail gun. There's just something about the stock being a very simple bar design and the front end grip looking more like a nail gun handle. And in fact, some nail guns actually have drum magazine style feeding systems for the nails themselves. Now you're going to see me engage just about everybody with hip fire on this gun. I'll aim down sights every once in a while, but the sights on this thing are just awful. You're gonna wanna switch away from them whenever possible, but if you are trying out this let out just for fun, hip fire everything. If there's somebody long range, they don't really see you and you want to try and get some nice accurate headshots, then by all means aim down sights, take your time, but you're certainly going to need a bit of time to sight in on somebody. And if they're moving around, it is going to be next to impossible to actually locate them and track them with the iron sights. Now one of the coolest draws of the CBJ MS is that it has a 50 round drum magazine and it's also very accurate when shooting from the hip. This is going to allow you to take down a lot of targets provided that you can actually out damage them. So you got to set yourself up for a lot of situations where people either aren't going to see you, they're not going to be able to get accurate shots back on you, and you're going to be able to drop a lot of foes. And it's just really funny because you don't need to reload this gun between two, three, even four targets sometimes. Now what's interesting is that the CBJ MS is considerably more effective since the last patch. So if you haven't used this gun in a while and you're like, oh yeah, I've used the CBJ, it's okay, it's not my favorite, try it out again because it's going to be a bit more effective now that we've seen that damage nerf applied to all assault rifles and carbines out there doing 24 max. The CBJ MS also does 24 max, but before its drop off started very early, 8 meters, which it still does, but the 8 meter drop off basically put this gun into a 5 shot kill range where other guns had much more range while they were still at 4 shot kill ranges. So basically in a close-ish to medium range distance from your opponents, this gun is going to have a pretty good advantage over your average carbines and assault rifles just because it has a great hip fire accuracy in a massive magazine so you're going to be able to deal with a lot of threats and be very aware of your environment around you because shooting from the hip allows you to maintain a nice wide field of view and it's going to prevent people from necessarily sneaking up on you and allow you to do better target prioritization you do have to be mindful of the fact that the gun is only shooting 700 rounds per minute which certainly doesn't put it at the top of the food chain in terms of damage but when i'm shooting from the hip personally i tend to focus a little bit more on getting those headshots because i don't know what it is I just feel like I have a little bit more freedom and a little bit easier time controlling the recoil. So call me crazy but I think the naked CBJ MS is actually a surprisingly effective gun and the fact that it already has a built-in foregrip certainly helps out too so you're not really missing out that much on the attachments you could put on this weapon. Now a while ago I dug up this funny little thumbnail of the CBJ MS being used by some soldiers in the field and the gun actually comes with its own bipod. I mean the thing is the size of an Uzi but it has a bipod and these soldiers are using optics on it that look like maybe four times optics just a crazy looking setup here. I can't believe that this gun would be effective at those kinds of ranges, but reading up a little bit on the CBJ MS, it is actually um, a specific type of round that this weapon uses that shoots very fast and it's supposed to be pretty accurate for a smaller bullet, which is really interesting. And the actual bullet itself is supposed to shoot between 700 and 900 meters per second, whereas the one in Battlefield actually shoots only 520 meters per second. So a bit of a bullet velocity difference there, not a huge deal, obviously, 
they have to balance it out in game but it is just kind of cool to learn some of the factual information about some of the guns in real life now using the shorty 12 gauge as a sidearm is a lot of fun in a way it kind of has the same effect as a 44 magnum does you have the ability to one shot your opponent the 12 gauge is just a little bit more forgiving with your accuracy than say a 44 magnum because you got to get a headshot with the 44 magnum whereas the 12 gauge shorter you can just get a nice solid body shot and still one shot them and it's a great thing to have in close quarter combat which is basically what you're aiming for with this kit and of course running the shorty shotgun stock kind of goes without saying you don't need any optics for this weapon it's not really going to change the performance too much as far as muzzle brakes go i've never been a huge fan of them on shotgun guns you don't really need to control your burst that much frankly they're supposed to be scatter guns not precision weapons now as I was gaming with this gun and capturing footage to make the video I realized that I was really close to getting my mastery tag with the CBJ MS which kind of surprised me because generally speaking I don't game with PDWs all that often but I guess I had used it enough I did a double vision with Matimio recently and just kind of racked up a bunch of kills with this gun so I just went ahead for the mastery dog tag with the CBJ got my 500 100 kills and felt a nice sense of accomplishment because this is a cool very unique looking gun and in fact I don't really know of too many shooters that have used this weapon before and I think it's just cool that Battlefield has so many unique exotic weapons that you might not really see or even hear about otherwise now unfortunately I didn't really get to work too much with the slams or the blowtorch I always thought it would be neat if slams could detonate or destroy walls that they were placed on and I've tried to do that so many times you place a slam on a wall shoot it with a pistol and it blows up and then the wall is still sitting there it's because the explosion and the blast force of it seems to force itself outwards or something like that so it doesn't actually cause any damage to whatever it's stuck to which is really unfortunate although I guess at the same time if you stick it to a tank and then the tank moves it'll blow up and hurt the tank I don't really understand how the blast radius works on M2 slams but it would be a really cool thing just to give the engineer sort of a way to blow through walls with slams and basically be able to use it as sort of a multi-purpose breaching charge provided that you actually shoot it to detonate it which shouldn't be a problem in Battlefield 4. Now overall, I really gotta say that this was a fun loadout to use. Even though it was kind of a silly theme, it turned out to be surprisingly effective. Let me know what you guys would like me to run for next week's episode of Loadout. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. And as always, I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.